Canadian Payroll. In this video, I provide a brief overview of Canadian payroll, including both setting up and running payroll. Acumatica Payroll provides U.S. and Canadian customers with a fully integrated solution that meets the needs of companies with salaried and hourly workers. The solution is designed for mid-sized customers with approximately 100 employees. Payroll can be configured to streamline data entry using employee classes to automatically assign pay groups. We introduced several new Canadian-specific features and enhancements. We retrieve Canadian payroll taxes and prepare reports for the Canadian Revenue Agency and the provincial agencies. Final paychecks with unused paid time off and EFT payments are among the other Canadian-specific enhancements. During the demo, I will show an end-to-end -end process for two employees, an hourly time card employee and a salaried employee. But prior to getting there, I'm going to demonstrate employee setup. After enabling both Canadian Edition and Payroll on the Enable Disable Features form, I create my companies. I updated an existing company by adding a Canadian Revenue Authority payroll account number. And although it's not required, I set the default country and localization to Canada. Enabling the Canadian Edition allows me to add EFT using the CPA 005 format as a payment method. Automated tax calculation allows me to assign payroll taxes to employees. The Update Taxes button retrieves tax codes for Canada and the provinces which correspond to the addresses of your employees and legal entities. I already performed this step, including adding the vendors and the liability accounts. When you set up earning type codes, select the appropriate wage type and reporting type, and then the system will automatically add tax codes and recommend tax stability settings. Deduction and benefit codes allow me to set up insurance, retirement, savings, workman's comp, union dues, garnishments, and a variety of custom plans. Within the RRSP, I link employee deductions and employer contributions. The tax settings allow you to include benefits in various tax calculations. PTO banks allow me to accrue vacation or sick leave. By creating multiple banks, I can track different accrual options, limits, carryover, and payout rules. Creating the proper pay groups helps me define default accounts and assign employees to different pay schedules. And using those groups, I can then set employee payroll classes, which allow me to create default settings, which streamline the process of adding new employees. With everything set up, I'm ready to create and pay a new employee. The first employee I add is a salaried employee who is paid monthly. By selecting the appropriate class ID, several settings are completed by default. I can customize compensation, deductions, benefits, PTO, and set the employee's preferred mechanism to receive payments next. The system allows me to assign taxes that apply to this employee. In tax settings, I can set required fields and modify any defaulted fields. I can modify the annual salary and set an effective start and end date. And in the Benefits tab, I add a retirement plan and health insurance. Uh, the sequence indicates the order in which deductions are taken, just in case the paycheck can't cover all the deductions. For PTO, I change the default that was indicated by the class ID from a percentage to a specific amount of vacation per year, and I keep the three front-loaded personal days. On the Payments tab, I elect the EFT payment method that's common in Canada. If needed, I can add multiple financial institutions. Hourly employees are set up in a similar manner using the class ID, and then modifying the compensation, deductions, PTO, and adding taxes. The employee I show here has already entered a time card last month that needs to be paid. As I navigate to the time card, you can see it's pretty standard with 10 hours on Monday and 8 for the remainder of the week. To begin the payment process, I create a payroll batch for my monthly employees. Then I add employees to my payroll batch and select the quick pay option to add the default hours. To keep things simple, I'm only going to add our new employee to this batch. After verifying earnings and benefits, I remove the batch from hold and release it. This creates uncalculated paychecks for all the selected employees. After creating the paychecks, I navigate to the Paychecks and Adjustment screen so I can add or review individual paychecks. If everything looks ready, I perform the Calculate action.
After I verify earnings and benefits, I process the payment. This gives me the option to create a payment file and send it to my bank. Finally, I can release my paycheck to create journal transactions. Anytime after the calculation, employees can download their pay stub using a mobile phone, or I can print them manually or email them to employees. I can repeat this process for my weekly payroll. I create a batch, add employees, and select the option to add hours from paychecks. When the paycheck is calculated, notice that the overtime hours are automatically calculated based on the configurable overtime rules. The remaining steps in the process involve processing the payment and releasing the paycheck. I will not show that here. Periodically, I can prepare vendor and tax bills. After processing the two paychecks, I can navigate to the Create Liability Bills screen to see a listing of withholdings and benefit payments. Using the filters, I can specify which bills I want to create and process them. When complete, I can see the resulting bill that was created in the Payables workspace. In addition to creating bills, I can prepare tax forms. Here's an example of a T4 form, which would not normally be calculated until the end of the year. After completing my payroll runs, I can review the results on several dashboards. The Payroll Flow dashboard provides an overview of the process and includes links to key screens. The Personal View shows information about my particular paychecks and provides a quick link to my pay stub. The Operational View is designed for a payroll manager or administrator and keeps track of assigned tasks. And the Executive View shows key metrics for managing your business and projects. All can be tailored and customized to meet your individual company needs. We will continue to enhance and improve Canadian payroll from the 2022 R2 version demonstrated in this video. For more information, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner.